we come together this morning in the name of our creator, redeemer, and sustainer. Amen. 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 If we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. But if we confess our sins, God, who is faithful and just, will forgive our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on you, forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ, strengthen you in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to our Creator, our Redeemer, and our Sustainer, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Amen. The Lord is full of compassion and mercy. Come, let us adore God. We say together, come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before God's presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great king above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before the Lord our maker, for he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. Glory to our creator, our redeemer, and our sustainer, as it was in the beginning, as now, and will be forever. Psalm 77. I cried out to God with my voice, to God with my voice, and he gave me ear, and he gave ear to me. In the day of my trouble, I sought the Lord. My hand was stretched out in the night without ceasing. My soul refused to be comforted. I remembered God and was troubled. I complained and my spirit was overwhelmed. You hold my eyelids open. I am so troubled that I cannot speak. I have considered the days of old, the years of ancient times. I call to remembrance my song in the night. I meditate within my heart and my spirit makes diligent search. Will the Lord cast off forever and will he be favorable no more? Has his mercy ceased forever? Has his promise failed forevermore? Has God forgotten to be gracious? Has he in anger shut up his tender mercies? And I said, this is my anguish, but I will remember the years of the right hand of the Most High. I will remember the works of the Lord. Surely I will remember your wonders of old. I will also meditate on all your work and talk of your deeds. Your way, O oh God, is in the sanctuary. Who is so great a God is our God. You are the God who does wonders. You have declared your strength among the peoples. You have, with your arm, redeemed your people, the sons of Jacob and Joseph. The waters saw you, O God. The waters saw you. They were afraid. The depths also trembled. The clouds poured out water. The sky sent out a sound. Your arrows also flashed about. The voice of your thunder was in the whirlwind. The lightnings lit up the world. The earth trembled and shook. Your way was in the sea, your path in the great waters, and your footsteps were not known. You led your people like a flock by the hand of Moses and Aaron. Reading from Revelations chapter 7. After this, I looked and behold, a great multitude from which no man could number, 
from every nation, from all tribes and peoples and tongues, standing before the throne and before the Lamb, clothed in white robes, with palm branches in their hands, and crying out with a loud voice, salvation belongs to our God who sits upon the throne and to the Lamb. And all the angels stood around the throne and round the elders and the four living creatures, and they fell on their faces before the throne and worshiped God, saying, Amen, blessing and glory and wisdom and thanksgiving and honor and power and might be to our God forever and ever. Amen. Then one of the elders addressed me, saying, who are these clothed in white robes and whence have they come? I said to him, sir, you know, and he said to me, these are they who have come out of the great tribulation. They have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the lamb. Therefore are they before the throne of God and serve him day and night within his temple. And he who sits upon the throne will shelter them with his presence. They shall hunger no more, neither thirst any more. The sun shall not strike them, nor any scorching heat. For the lamb in the midst of the throne will be their shepherd, and he will guide them to springs of living water, and God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. Hear what the Spirit is saying to God's people. Thanks. Thanks be to God. Or Canticle 9. Surely it is God who saves me. I will trust in him and not be afraid. For the Lord is my stronghold and my sure defense. And he will be my savior. Therefore you shall draw water with rejoicing from the springs of salvation. And on that day you shall say, give thanks to the Lord and call upon his name. Make his deeds known among the peoples. See that they remember that his name is exalted. Sing the praises of the Lord, for he has done great things, and this is known in all the world. Cry aloud, inhabitants of Zion, ring out your joy, for the great one is in our midst. In the midst of you is the Holy One of Israel. Let us glorify the Lord, Creator, Redeemer, and Holy Spirit. Praise God and highly exalt God forever. An affirmation of faith. We are not alone. We live in God's world. We believe in God who has created and is creating, who has come in Jesus, the word made flesh, to reconcile and make new, who works in us and others by the spirit. We trust in God. We are called to be church, to celebrate God's presence, to live with respect in creation, to love and serve others, to seek justice and resist evil, to proclaim Jesus as healer, companion, crucified and risen, our judge and our hope. In life, in death, in life beyond death, God is with us. We are not alone. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours. Now and forever. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord, saying, Lord, have mercy. Let us ask the Lord for a day of fulfillment and peace. Lord, Lord have mercy. have mercy. Let us ask the Lord for us to love others as God loves us. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Let us ask the Lord for peace and justice in the world. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Let us ask the Lord to strengthen and relieve all those who are sick, suffering, or in any sort of need. Lord, have mercy. 
Let us ask the Lord to renew our community through the power of the life-giving spirit. Lord, have mercy. have mercy. Let us ask the Lord to grant peace and eternal rest to all those who have died in the grace and consolation of the Holy Spirit, to all those who mourn. Lord, have mercy. have mercy. In silence, we offer our own intentions. Lord, have mercy. God of infinite mercy, grant that we who know your compassion may rejoice in your forgiveness and gladly forgive others for the sake of Jesus Christ, our Savior, who is alive with you in the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, to, be God. to God. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace and believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. And the wisdom, love, and grace of God strengthen you to be God's hands and heart in this world of ours and the blessing of God Almighty, our creator, redeemer, and sustainer be with you on this Monday morning and remain with you always. Amen. Amen.